Good morning, doctor. Your assistant told me to come in and take off my clothes so you could examine me. Good morning. Yeah, you are Mr. Longman. You look pale and your voice is out of tune. Yes, doctor. I'm running a temperature and have a sore throat. What can I do? I'm gonna touch your forehead to feel the temperature. Mmm. You have moderate fever. I will use a thermometer to make sure about the temperature, okay? This thermometer is very different from the one you used the last time, unlike the earlier one, which was placed below the tongue. This one is napped around one of the fingers. Yes, this is a new introduction by medical equipment companies. It's much more convenient. And it doesn't require cleaning after every use. Let me see. Not too high. I will have to check your blood pressure just to make sure everything is fine, okay? Mm, your blood pressure is fine. I will check your throat now. It seems a little inflamed. Not good. Do you get sweating and shivering? Mm, not sweating, but I feel somewhat cold when I sit under a fan. Okay, you have few symptoms of a virus. I would suggest you undergo blood test. Nothing to worry about. In most cases, the test come out to be negative. It's just precautionary, as there have been a sport. In these virus cases, in the last month or so, I'm prescribing three medicines and a syrup. The number of dots in front of each tells you how many times in the day you have to take them. For example, the two dots here mean you have to take the medicine twice in the day, once in the morning and once after dinner. All right, doctor, doctor, I've had a terrible headache since yesterday evening. A headache? Have you taken any medicine so far? Any painkillers? Yes, I have bought some pills at the pharmacy, but the headache hasn't disappeared. I hadn't noticed. You have a running nose. Looks like your headache is a result of sinus infection. And not the regular one that results from anxiety and fatigue. Let me check. It's quite clear that the infection in your sinus is the reason for your headache. I'll prescribe an antibiotic to clear the infection and a pain reliever to relieve the pain. Thank you, doctor. Will that be enough? I've had stomachache since last night. And I didn't want to tell you this, but I also vomited a few times in the night. It was terrible. So you vomited last night. Let me see. What did you eat yesterday? Let me remember. I ate some snacks on the roadside eatery. It's likely a result of that. Likely you ate contaminated food. Because of diarrhea, you've lost plenty of body fluids. You need to be hydrated. Drink water regularly. Mix some glucon D powder. That could help. 
Fruit juice is fine too. Avoid caffeine, dairy products, and solid foods at least till evening. And get plenty of rest. All right, doctor. Any medicines? I want to buy them all at the drugstore today. Yes, I'm prescribing few to control diarrhea. You need to take them once a day. Thank you, doctor. Um, doctor, I need to talk to you about something important. Doctor, my father has been diagnosed with abnormal growth of cells in colon, which, which doctors so far have confirmed as a case of cancer. I don't know what to do. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. But tell me, what test have you conducted? On the advice of doctors in the other hospital, we conducted blood test, CT scan, and a biopsy. We've taken three opinions on the reports, and all have said colorectal cancer. Here are the reports. Yes, this looks cancerous. What we'll do is admit him today itself and get few tests done. And let's meet just in some minutes when you have the reports of this test. It's quickly. Oh, I'm happy it doesn't take too long. Thank you very much, doctor. The cancer is just one stage before it'll spread to other parts. In this case, let me see. The best course of action is immediate surgery to remove the affected part, followed by radiation therapy. I see. How many days of hospitalization will be required? We can perform the surgery the day after tomorrow. Thereafter, we'll keep the patient under observation for five, four days. Radiation therapy has become pretty standardized, and therefore you can get it done in any tire to sit it. Which will not only be convenient to you, but also reduce your expense. It means good news. I understand. And for how long the patient will have to undergo radiation therapy? One dose every two weeks for three months. You need to visit the hospital only on days you receive therapy. Once radiation therapy is done, you should consult an oncologist every three months. In the beginning and every year later on to check for remission of cancerous cells. Yeah, okay. I've heard radiation therapy has side effects. Is that true? Yes, radiation therapy has side effects. It can lead to hair loss, nausea, and loss of appetite. Thank you, doctor. We'll get him admitted today, but I am worried about something. Lately, I have been feeling the same symptoms as my dad. I am very worried. Because I have heard that cancer can also be caused by something genetic. Hmm, that's true. We will have to do tests to rule out that disease. It's good that you do it on time. If you have that disease, we will be able to cure it in time. Really? Oh, thank you, doctor. I feel much better now. Thank you so much. I hope you liked this conversation. If you could improve your English a little more, please subscribe to the channel and share this video with a friend. And if you want to support this channel, 
you can join us or click on the super thanks button. Thank you very much for your support. Take care.